And so on one of these longest nights with betrayal and abandonment and torture and death, Jesus took time to carve out space for a way to, for us to remember him, for a way for us to remember the love that is present even when we can't see it, touch it, feel it, or know it. To remember that as much as God seems silent, here in one of these sacred moments like communion, you might just be able to taste or feel a heartbeat of God going out into the cosmos. And so for that heartbeat that was born and that lived and that taught and that died and that lived again, we, like the disciples, gather around that table and give thanks for a Savior who took bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to them and said, take, eat, this is my body broken for you. And so when our bodies and spirits are broken, we remember that we are not alone and we remember Christ. And likewise, when the supper was over, he took the cup and after giving thanks and blessing it, gave it to his disciples and said, take, drink from this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so for all the wrong that there is in this world, still we remember something right. And so we come. We come with all of our feelings and all of our thoughts and all of our fears and all of our anger and all of our hope. And God, we ask that you pour out your Holy Spirit on us who are gathered here today and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body of Christ redeemed by his blood so that we might be for the world the body of Christ redeemed by his blood. God, as only as you can, make us one with you, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until that great day, until that day when Christ returns and we feast at his heavenly banquet because it is in the love of your son, Jesus Christ. It is in the power of your Holy Spirit and it is in the strength and the support of your holy community, the church, that this journey is possible now and always. We are celebrating the greatest gift and mystery this season, that God Christ loved us so much that he who was whole decided to become broken so that we who are broken might be made whole. A savior who was full, but who chose to empty himself so that we who are empty may be filled. This is the great good news that is ours and that is everyone's. And this is the only news and the only table that I know of that can give us the strength and the hope to make sense of the chaos around us. So would you come and would you be fed and would you know that unto us is born a savior, Emmanuel, God with us. This is a vegan loaf if you wanna dip a piece of bread in the cup and we also have gluten-free crackers and cup available too. John, would you come and serve with me? Sure. Thanks.
Thank you. So as you're able, as you're ready, come and be fed. you would join me in singing once more. There's a song in the faith we sing on number 2218, You Are Mine, that is one of my favorites that helps me to find reassurance and comfort. On this hymn, I'll read the same verses one and two together, and then do the refrain, and then do the refrain after each of the other verses.
Our closing poem was written by a German mystic named Rilke, um, and I very much like his work and share this with you. You see, I want a lot. Maybe I want it all. The darkness of each endless fall. The light. Oh, we've got a misprint. I'll get the right one to you later. So many are alive who don't seem to care. Casual, easy, they move in the world as though untouched. But you take pleasure in the faces of those who know they thirst. You cherish those who grip you for survival. You are not dead yet, and it's not too late to open your depths by plunging into them and to drink in the life that reveals itself quietly there. May the darkness of each fall and the light of each ascent and the depth that opens itself up to us be something that we can settle in and drink from and live from. May the fullness of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit hold you tightly and breathe into you the breath of God's life and God's love. Amen. Spend time. You don't have to move right away again whatever you need.